Hi there. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny Sunday and I'm here at the house by myself and I wanted to do a video showcasing all of my Filofaxes. Now, all I'm showing here are sort of the smaller in the range. So we're going from personal down to mini. And some people had done videos where they showed off their various Filofaxes and I just found them really interesting looking at all the different styles and things. So um, I wanted to do one like that myself. So um, I'll start with just talking about um, this one here, which I just did a video on. So if you um, some, are somebody who watches my channel, this is my first Filofax I ever got. It's a college organizer and I got this years and years and years ago and it was really my first sort of entrance to Filofaxes and I absolutely loved it and I used it a lot. And I never got one for quite a few years because um, I hadn't really clued into the fact that you could get them online, so I didn't see them for a long time. And um, then I started to get them again. But first I'll just show the one I'm using now. Um, this one was a personal, this college one. And this is my whole burn. This is a personal as well. And I love this. I use this as a wallet. Um, I've kind of made some changes to it uh, since I last um, did a video. Um, I had been using me this this... Um, set which I got from another another organizer and it came with these very pretty dividers but I take this organizer with me everywhere and these stuck out quite far and they were getting very ragged and that was upsetting me so I took them out and now what I have is I just decided to use just for now um, because the dividers aren't that important. I have page markers and things like that. So what I decided to do, just to sort of uh, demark where those things are, um, I, I didn't need that many categories either, I didn't find. Like there's planner, phone, events, the events when I really didn't need. So I ordered these. These came the other day, and I really like these. A lot of people have them. They're these plastic, I think they're Day Runner, I think. Um, Day Runner, plastic, and there's a... A space, a space on each side so they're really really nice so what I've decided to do is I've just put one of those in where my diary starts I can't kind of show you because there's some personal information under it but it's like right there and it just sticks out a little bit you see that see the edge of it's right there so I can kind of grab that if I need to but my day planner rule is right here and I and I usually just go straight to that and then, I can just kind of show you over here. See, this is the other one, is blue. And it's got the two sides. And that's just the sort of like the general notes section. It just shows off the section where I have various things like goals page and things like that. So, anyway, that's all I'm using. You can see it. See, it just sticks out a little bit. The orange one there. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm just kind of using. And I'll tell you what I like about it is it makes it very streamlined. See, there's nothing really sticking out of the side. Um, I also kind of put it on a diet a little bit. It was very, very fat. And I took some things out of the back. So now I just have, I got these photo holders um, like this from Day Runner. And I just put some of my stickers in there. And then on the other side, I just stuck. I took this out. I had this in there. But I never use these flags. I don't really like them. So I took this right out. Because I wanted to leave the Martha Stewart stuff in. Because I do like using those Martha Stewart tabs. So I just have these on the back in case I want to use a larger stick it, uh, post it note. And then I have the two Martha Stewart ones here. And then I have a few little stickers in there. So um, something else I found that was kind of neat I ordered was this thing. It's a checkbook holder supposedly, but really it's more like you could use it for change or for money. I got a couple of them. See, it looks like this. So, I don't know what I'll use that for yet. This has a zipper in it. The whole one's wonderful. It has so many zipper pockets and things. But sometimes I find if I get too much change in there, it makes the... Sorry, the animals keep getting up on the table today. Um, it makes the uh, the the whole burn really bulky if you have a lot of change in this back pocket. So um, 
if you've seen me use this before, you know that this is my, I put American money in here. These are my receipts that I need to save. I went through and went all, th all through there too. I've got a couple of gift certificates in here that I got for my birthday and for Christmas too. And then back here, I have my passport. And then I always put, usually I usually put my Canadian money in this side and then just change in that thing. But I might be able to use that for that. So I'm really happy with it. It's kind of, it's nice and a little bit sleeker now. So that's what I use right now. Now, the journey of the file effects. Okay, so what I had started using a few years ago at Winners here in Canada, they started having file effects on a pretty regular basis. And I started getting a lot of pocket size ones. I really like them. I found they were awesome to, like, I never used them for wallets, but what I like to use these for was I love the fact that you could put receipts in here. So if you purchase something, you want to keep the receipt. I always put receipts and notes in there. This is a Finsbury pocket, and I really love this. This is worn to death. I don't know if you can see, like, it is really worn, but I use this and use this and use this. I find this size is nice for the Finsbury. I find once you start getting up into like the A5 size, this leather doesn't lend well to that bigger size, but it's really great just for a little pocket size. I love that one. Then I got, was it this one I got next? I was thinking this was a Metropole, but it's actually called an Identity. And what I've done is I actually gave it to my stepdaughter. So she's been writing little things in it like Dad's birthday, last day of school. So, um, but I also, and this has an last size pen loop, but I also gave her, um, I think the cats were after this, maybe it's got some marks in it. Um, I gave her my old um, Raspberry Finsbury, and she is loving that, just loves it. I can't get that closed up. So, um, then here's a couple, of, some other ones that I had. Grab them down here, see, they're all up there. Um, this is a Piazza, oh, I think is what it's called. Piazza? Yeah. Um, this wasn't good for me. It's too precious, this leather. It's too hard for me to keep this kind of thing. Um, but it was nice. It doesn't have the top pocket, though. I, that's what I love about the the the, um, the pocket size, is that it has that wallet, that long wallet at the top. It has a little... This is pretty, though. I like this silver on the zipper. And it has a little card slot here. But I even got nail polish on it for my purse, so um, this one didn't... It, I, don't, I don't know if I ever even used that one. This one I got, just it was at Walmart, and I, or at Winners, and I think it was really cheap. And I just thought it might be fun as like a uh, diet and exercise kind of one. I think I was going to use it as like a food journal or something. Um, but I never really used that one either. It's called, uh, you've probably seen these before, Fresco. So, you know, they come up with sort of some funky cloth ones and stuff like that. Um, this is a Lindhurst, Lindyhurst, Lind I think this is another one I got at, um, these, these don't sit flat, uh, this is another one I got at Winners, I think, um, I was used to, I used to be quite big on inspirational pictures and information, so like I have a picture of somebody fit, and then I would have information about workouts and things like that, so it was nice to the zippers, but again, it doesn't have that top pocket either, it had card slots over here, and it had have a zipper? No, it doesn't even have a zipper pocket back here. It just has this little pocket. So this one wasn't very practical. I didn't like that one that much. Now, this is my most recent pocket that I use quite a lot until I started getting back into personal size. And I love this. This is the Amazona. These are gorgeous. If you get the opportunity, if these are online at a good price, do not hesitate. Um, but it looks weird. It looks like it would be, like if I saw this and I didn't had never touched one, I would think that it was going to be hard, but it's not. It's very soft and subtle. It feels awesome. Wait till, you, wait till I show you this one. This one's awesome. This one's amazing. So anyway, um, this is the pocket, and I really love this. I use this a lot. It has the top envelope. It has a pretty little zipper. I think this zipper might be, this pocket might even be a nice one because it's kind of might be gourd on the side. I'm not going to be able to undo this with one hand, though, I don't think. Oh, I was wrong. Yeah, it's got a little elastic goring there. So this is a nice little pocket. And it had, sorry, it had card thing. It doesn't sit flat either. A couple card things. But I wanted to show you this. This is something that I thought was so neat. And I transfer these around many times. I'm going to show you where these came from. Um, years ago, a few years ago, there was this awesome decorating magazine called Domino. I'm going to show you the magazine here. Sorry, my table's, my uh, floor's not very even. 
I'm going to move this over. So here's the magazine right here, okay? So this was a really amazing decorating magazine. And what they would have in the back is this thing. You can see it says Domino Cheat Sheets. And they would have these little, can you tell how this works? This is a perforated, oh, I can do it with, with one hand. Let's see if you can get that. Oh, it started to rip a little bit on the bottom. See, it's like a little uh, sheet, and it actually is already hole punched. Can you see that? There's like little perforations there. And you take it, and you put it right in your, it fits perfectly, in a pocket, Final Facts. So I had tons of these in here. You can see they're actually kind of, they have little dark spots because of the page that's ahead of it. But I didn't take all these ones out of this particular domino because I wasn't interested in mail order turkeys or front loading washing machines. But like if there was something I was really interested in, like this one here, that was, this one is hand laundry tips, like well, hand washing laundry. So it gives the tips on the back. This one was travel travel gear, like good travel gear. So when you pull it over, it has ideas for luggage. And there's all kinds, look at this one, pet portraits. And it has all the names of people you would, you would call, you would order a pet portrait from, like if you want to have a painting done. So I thought these were so neat. So I have a ton of them. Look how many of them I have. And what's really cool is you, you might be sitting waiting in line somewhere. Of course, now we all have like I have my Blackberry and stuff, but, you know, this is a few years ago. So, you, I would sit, and I could just look through these and sort of read them. Look, there's one for turning your bathroom into a spa. <coughs> oh, God, I'm apo I apologize. I sneeze. So, I thought these were so neat. Now, the interesting thing about Domino is that they started to bring um, magazines out, even though it, does, it isn't a magazine anymore. They have, like, this one just came out for spring 2013. And what they've done is they've taken old magazines and put um, some of the old ideas into it and then some new ideas too. So a lot of us are hoping that Domino Magazine will come back because I've saved all of my Domino Magazines, every single one. I've got like three years worth of them because they are absolutely amazing. So we're really hoping that, they'll, that they're on their way back. But anyway, so I just thought that it was so neat that you could put those little things in the pockets. So um, that's it for all my pocket editions. Now, then I got this. This is an Amazona Slimline. Now, you know the Slimline is personal size paper, but it's just a slimmer size, very small rings. And I really love this. It came with a, this kind of a planner. This is from another book, but it came with a week per page. And really, it was just for the basics. Like if you had an appointment, if you had something, like it was really not, not, not to be fussy about. And um, not to put a lot of detail. Uh, and I really, I didn't use it as a wallet. I had another wallet. So I just use it as a, as a keeping track, like a daytime or address book. And I really, really liked it. It has an elasticized pen loop too. And I used it and used it and used it. I thought it was amazing. So then... Um, I realized that, oh, and so then what happened was, so these Amazon, as I was telling you, that these are just really, really beautiful finish on these. I went back to Winners, and they had an A5 Amazona in black, and it was gorgeous. It was $65. If you have looked online, you know that those are up in the hundreds usually. But this is before I realized that there was so many people that are really obsessed with these file faxes. Um, I was like, well, I shouldn't get it. I already have quite a few file faxes. I didn't even know that A5 size existed back then. And so then I came home and I thought about it and I went back and it was gone. And then I thought, well, I wonder if I could get that online. And that's when I realized that there's a whole world of file faxes and sizes and all that kind of stuff. So that's when I got my first one. My first A5 size was after that. But I totally kicked myself for not having gotten that because it was really, really beautiful. So, um... After that, I went ahead and ordered, what did I order first? A Domino? A Metropole? Anyway, I went and ordered an A5. But I also ordered because, I'm going to go over here. See, I've got these. There's a couple of things that are in boxes. Two are in boxes because they're new. This one is in a box because I'm trying to protect it. And what happened was they had at Winners, sorry about this. These boxes can be tricky. Okay. 
also at Winners they had these, but they had them in red. Okay? This is an Adelphi. And I thought they were really gorgeous. So I went online and found these at Pens and Leather, and I ordered this black one. And I really love this. I use this for a long time. I have the Holborn now. I love the Holborn because it's very easy to use. It's very squishy. This is a very uh, beautiful binder, though. It, to me, it's almost like it has that kind of a really classy, almost Chanel look with the quilting. It is all beautiful quilted leather, leather throughout. It has this nice little envelope-y kind of Percy flap here. And then you open it up. This is quite tight. It would be hard to sort of keep money in this and, and move it in and out, but it certainly will be good for receipts and things. And then it has card slots here, a nice um, snap. It has a pretty good ring sizes. And then on the other side, it has um, a zipper pocket, quite a nice zipper pocket here. So this is beautiful, and I will use this again for sure. Um, it has a little bit of a... Because like I say, I carry these in my purse and I use them all the time. I wasn't using this as a wallet either. I was using this kind of alongside my wallet as a, as a day timer. But um, I definitely will use this again. So I'm, and I was finding, I was just keeping it on the shelf and it was um, getting kind of like, I, and I also put some, some um, papers in there because it was starting to lose its shape. It was flattening out kind of. So I wanted to put some stuff in there so it would keep its shape and then I'm keeping it in the box here. Now, the other size I have here, this, I got at Winners because it's so beautiful. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I have not done anything with it. It just lives in this box in its pristine state. It is so beautiful. So it's sort of funny because you can see all the black and then I have this beautiful red one. But uh, it, this is the uh, Chameleon Red, um, is it Slimline or Compact? compact. So it has an elasticized pen loop, has your pockets over here, has a zipper over here, and it is just the most beautiful color. Beautiful. I wish I'd gotten an A5 in chameleon and red. I have two chameleons already in A5. I have a raspberry and a black, but the red would have been beautiful as a gift for somebody because this is just mm, delicious. So anyway, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet stays there. I'm not going to give it away because I just love it too much. Now the only other thing, th th these are my two guilty ones, my two that I haven't, I just got for the sake of getting, I haven't used them. Um, if you've watched my videos, you've seen these before, but this, I just wanted to know what a mini was like. And these were marked way down. This was a, it's a mini topaz wine. Pens and leather. Pens and leather. So it is adorable. Um, it's wine colored. has your top your top envelope here, your top thing on top, and it's leather all the way across. It's got some little, some little card slots and a little flap here. Um, the little diary is just adorable. Look at it. Look, like there's my finger. You can see how small it is. And then it has a really pretty silver and uh, um, a zipper there. And then it has a pen loop, which is not elasticized. You have to use a small pen for that. So. Again, haven't done anything with it. Maybe one of these days I'll just decide to use that instead of my... I might go back to one of these instead of my personal or whatever. But as for now, those two are pristine, not used. Um, I also had these out just to show you. I'd gotten these at Michael's. These little... They're cards. And I just thought they would be... If I decided to go back to the pocket, I thought they would just be so cute as uh, dividers. You just cut them in half and make a divider out of those. So, you know, always thinking. Um, so that's it. That's my. Now I also have A5s. So I think I have five A5s, maybe. Um, some I've bought and actually given to people. But that is my collection as of now, just with personal and minis. And um, yeah, so I don't think I could ever sell any of them. They all have sort of a fondness to them for me. Um, but um, I hope you enjoyed seeing them.